sister your friend doing? Sherry P. Ask God something. I feel like that. Happy 4th of July to everyone and to my replay viewers. Welcome to my kitchen. I know you all probably did y'all cooking already. I'm, I'm running behind because I relaxed and enjoyed my family for the majority of the day. But I'm trying to get this food cooked. And um, you get to get a glance of some of the other stuff. But what I really wanted you to see was how I cook my southern fried corn. Because everyone don't know how to make it, even though it's as simple as it is as it is. And here you can come take a look at my ribs that I'm about to put in the oven to get so the barbecue sauce can stick to it. Uh, they just came off the grill. And I like to put them in the oven for the barbecue sauce to stick. So you get to look at that right quick before they go in the oven, okay? Don't those look delicious? Yes. Hey, Shirley Ann. And who else was that was in the room? Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm but sorry. I just want to say I acknowledge all of you who just came in. Please share the scope. Give hearts. Are you eating late tonight, Sherry? Said Sharon. Actually, I'm going to taste a little bit because really we have eaten Sister some Griffin stuff, said, but hey, yeah. Guys. Hey, we're going to taste a few things that I made. We've been cooking barbecue for days, honey. This is not the first barbecue I done cooked. I done had people over a couple of days ago and we just been cooking something every, seemed like almost every day. And this is just something else. So, so yeah. Girl? <laughs> yeah. But I want y'all to see my corn. So I'm going to scope that and scope uh, the kale I'm cooking. And you're not. Oh, and Sister Griffith, and you never invited me. Oh, uh, well, you owe me a, a trip down here, lady. And so when you're ready to come, when you're ready to come, then I'll cook for you when you get here. Just let me know. She said, you know, I don't, she said I don't LOL. Have, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, so how is everybody spending their day? Who else cooked today? Anyone else in the room cook today want to share what they made? Or took something to a barbecue or something? She said, I'm coming, girl. <laughs> well, okay. I'm gonna hold you to it. Um, Sharon said her day's been quiet. Oh, okay. Hi, Sharon. Your name is similar to mine. Similar Sister to my. Sister Griffin said she ate and slept. Similar to my real name, which is Sharon. Sherry P is just my scope name, but Sharon is my real name. Okay, come on, guys, over here. Look and see what I'm doing. I have some, so uh, Danae, go turn on the stove right quick for the fried corn so the skillet can get hot. I have some corn here. Now, y'all missed the whole procedure to the corn because it's a process that I did not want to do on scope. <laughs> and maybe one day when I have a little more patience and time to do it, I will do it for y'all. Patricia some, said hello. What you cooking today? Hey, I'm cooking fried corn and kale on scope today. I'm cooking a whole lot of other things, but y'all, yeah, I'm not sharing all that because you can see it, but I'm not. Mm -mm, it's too much work. So this is fried corn that I have cut off of a corn on a cob. Okay, you take a corn. I probably should have saved one. Next time I'll save one. You hold it up like this and you cut down and slice the kernels off of the corn. 
Okay, after you done cleaned it and took the green part off and then the, the hair that's on there, you took all that off, you cut the corn off the cob and it looks like this. And then after you the cob, you done cut the kernels off, then you take the cob itself and you take a knife and you go like this and you scrape the cob into the bowl and you get the milk from the corn off that cob. And so, then you're left with what you have here, which is this corn, and with this milky substance, with a little water in there. This is a lot of corn. I had, um, how many years of corn did I have? I had two packs. I had uh, 15 years of corn. 15 years of corn. So this is 15 years of corn. I have a large family. I'm a family of eight. And um, I'm a married woman, so yeah. You can see that on my... Um, identity thing so anyway this is the corn it has salt in it and black pepper and a tablespoonful of flour and I added a, about a tablespoon I think more of sugar in here now you don't have to add sugar it's your choice to add sugar or not this because is all raw? yes it's raw because corn is naturally have a sweetness, but sometimes you never know the season. Sometimes it's sweet and sometimes it's not. So anyway, I add a little extra. Now what we're about to do is, I'm going to show you. I made some bacon. I'm going to take this over to the stove. I made some bacon over here. Alexis joint. Hi Alexis. I have some bacon here that I made. And I put the bacon in there. This is the um, oil from the bacon. This is the flavor, okay? That I want in my corn. And this is called fried, southern fried corn. This is how my mom taught me to make it. So this is bacon oil. And I'm going to pour this in here. You hear that? You can see that? Mm -hmm. And so, this is this is what you call frying the corn, southern fried corn. And you gonna? They said hello. How are you, L F C? Hi. Welcome. Happy Alexa fall? says my dog is totally scared. Firecrackers going off. All I day. know, I know. Same thing over here. Same thing here. Well, please leave the replay up. Oh yeah, I'll. Davis. I'll leave the replay. They say, "What are you making?" They said, "Hello, Sherry. Do you make your cornbread using corn milk?" Sharon. Corn milk. Yes. Corn milk. I think. Oh, corn milk. Oh no, I've never done G that. G Money joint. Hey, G Money. Happy 4th. So, no, I haven't never used corn milk to make my cornbread. I'm pretty sure it's probably good, too. I can't see why it wouldn't be good with that corn milk in there. Put this over there, please. Um, he said, happy 4th, Miss Purvis. Thank you. So, yeah, this is fried corn that I'm making here. For people who just came on. This is um, fresh corn that was cut off the cob, that I cut off the cob and scraped the milk from the cob and um, added a little flour, um, some black pepper, some salt, and a little sugar. And I'm frying it. And some bacon, bacon grease that I just cooked some bacon up, three pieces of bacon, and it's frying in here. So this is how you cook fried corn. So all you're going to have to do is stir this until it get to the thickness and consistency that you want it to be at. Okay? So I needed y'all to see that because a lot of people don't know how to make it. And that's why I scoped it. So now I'm about to make some kale. This is my pot for my kale right here. And I'm going to put... Delight them. said happy fourth. Thank you. You said delight? Delights. Oh, okay. Hi, Delights. And you welcome. Um, 
Welcome to my school. And same to you. Patricia said my mom used to cook it. Yep. Who did that? Okay, so now I need to cut up this. Um, Sharon said this is my first time seeing fried corn. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't think a lot of people um, knew how to make it. And I said, let me take this opportunity to show you all. So it's starting to cook. Um, as you can see, it's bubbling around the edges. And this is a non-stick skillet. I made your mac and cheese yesterday and your big ZD today. Family loved it. Oh, wow. Car 6214 said. <laughs> Amen. That David blessed said, me. I need a plate, LOL. That blessed me. Oh, wow. Thank you. Well, I'm pretty sure they did enjoy it. So this corn is cooking around the edges. As you can see, it's bubbling. And you're just going to hopefully try to use a non-stick skillet. Because if you don't, if you try to use a cast iron or anything else, it can stick on you. Okay? So, I'm going to go over here and do, cut up my onion. Put my kale. And my green pepper. And garlic. David said I got to go out. I'm right. live. Please Check the replay. the replay. Yes, I definitely will do that. So I'm going to cut up these onions and this bell pepper. And um, uh, this is not my sharp knife. I need my other knife. As you can see, I don't washed already. My kale. My kale is washed. Um, even though I bought the kind that say it's been washed, triple washed, and all that mess. Uh, I don't trust it. So <laughs> I washed it again. Thank you, ma'am. So I washed it again. And it's sitting over there ready and waiting for me to. Put it in. Now I'm gonna do a quick um, kale today. It's not gonna be nothing that takes really a long time. Cause I'm just putting vegetables in it today. I'm not putting any meat in the kale or anything. But I'm gonna infuse a lot of flavor in it because I'm adding the onions and I'm adding red bell pepper for color because it's green, it's dark green. And I like to. She's not on YouTube yet. Brighten up things a little bit. Oh no, I didn't do my YouTubing yet because I have to get a camera, which I haven't gotten yet. Um, people saying that I can do it with my phone, but I don't want my. Um, I want it to be. I want it to look good, and so I don't have like one of them Apple phones or anything. Sharon said, do you prefer kale over collard greens? Oh, well, all day collard greens, all day. But I do like kale too, but... Sean <laughs> said hello from Alabama. Hi, Sean. Welcome. You know, I'm, I'm, I was born in Alabama. My family, say, hey, Linda. my family is from Alabama. So I am an Alabama-born girl. And I um, go there and visit all the time, matter of fact. I'm going to be going in another week or two. He said what part? Dothan. I have family in Dothan. I have family in Ashford. I have family in Cottonwood, Montgomery, um, Demopolis. I have family from a lot of places over there. Turn my corn. Turn it down, please. Okay, I just had to stir that. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I have family. I have family from all of those different places. Just okay. a girlfriend said hi, Sotiri. Hi. 
And so the loyal chick said, "I love your dress." Oh, thank you. It's an Afghan, a Kafghan. Uh, how did, that's how you say it, Kafghan, I think. So that's what it's see. Nice, kind of comfortable, colorful, and pretty. Thank you. Um. So these are my peppers to go inside my kale for the color. And you know that kale is going to shrivel up like it's hardly nothing. So, and this is my onion I'm cutting up for my kale as well. Sharanta, I like peppers in my cabbage. Yes, I like peppers in my cabbage too. I like my cabbage to look colorful. My mom. I don't know how to say her name, but she said hi. Well, welcome. Robert just joined. Hi, Robert. Welcome. And happy 4th of July to everyone. So. He said, yo, happy 4th. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, like I was saying, this, all this is going to go in. This is vegetables. I'm going to cut up some onion. Um, some. Um, not cut onion, but uh, garlic now. Get a couple of pieces of that. And just make it, you know, fresh with um, all the vegetables and stuff in it. It's going to be well seasoned. I'm going to add a little um, chicken broth to it as well. And then I'm going to put a little vinegar in it. A little apple cider vinegar. Turn that uh, stove all the way down to like uh, three. My oil for that. Oh, you know what? Don't do that, baby. Just dump these onions and peppers in there now. And um, after I do this, that kale will be on its way. Everybody knows, anybody who eats kale knows that kale shrivels up quickly so it doesn't take long for it to cook and you don't have to cook it for a long time although the texture seems tough it's really not it's not like um, collard greens that you have to cook for a while to get it you know soft like you want it kale cooks very cook quickly it's almost it cooks almost as quick as is that vinegar Staple for your green? To me, yeah. I mean, some people don't put it in there, but I happen to like it. I like it in my collard greens, and I like it in my um, kale. Now, one thing I don't, um, I'll put it in my cabbage, but I don't always put it in my cabbage. It depends on what I'm cooking in my cabbage. But you said I never had If I'm cooking sausage in my cabbage, I wouldn't put any any vinegar or anything in it. Um, so let me mash this so it can come out easier. See that that lets you get it out quicker. You don't have to be trying to figure around trying to get all the papers off. They come off easy now. See. I'm, I'm a type of cook. I like to get in the kitchen and get this stuff done. I don't like to take a long time to cook anything. That's how my parents was. Like, they was like, they cooking and get it over with. It shouldn't really, I mean, I don't care what you're cooking. It shouldn't take all day to cook it. Unless the process of the food itself takes a while to cook. But getting it, getting it ready to go into a pot shouldn't take you all day. So... So, I have this ready for us to slice up. You know, one more. I'll slice this up. Yes. My daughter will be back and look at the comments in a minute. I'm sorry, guys. We're just trying to do a couple things at one time. 
I apologize for all the comments we may have missed. They said, hey, Crystal joined. Hey, Crystal. This is Sherry Pisco. 969 nine said, hey. Happy 4th to you. <coughs> Garlic into the pot. They asked, what are you making? Kale and corn. <coughs> Crystal. Yeah, that's, that's all what I'm scoping is that right now. Look at this corn, guys. Corn is cooking. <coughs> Fried southern corn. You have to catch the replay for all the ingredients, okay? That I put in it. <clears throat> Sharon said, My grandparents and mother did southern cooking just like you. I wish I paid more attention. Oh, that's all right, girl, because I'm here. You see, you're on my scope. You're going to learn it. Just keep watching me. You'll learn. <clears throat> I have those tricks. I up to date. You know, some of my things a little bit from what my mom taught me. Just because I like, you know, you grew up and you like certain flavors. But honey, the beginning roots are there. This is basically all my mom. This is my mama's recipe right here. She uses bacon. And sometimes she uses fat back. And then sometimes she may not put anything in it. It just depends on what you have a taste for. See how it looks? It's doing its thing. It's looking good. <laughs> okay, that was a call I just got. I apologize. Nine six nine, say hi again. Oh, hello. Who who you said it was? I don't know. How to say her name, but oh, okay. Nine, her, the ending is nine six nine. Nine I'm six southern. nine, welcome. Um, yes. Tesla said, "I'm southern. I never heard of this." Really? What part of the South? Are you? I'm, well, this is at, um, Alabama. This is how I learned how to cook um, fried corn, southern fried corn. And my mom, my parents are from Alabama, so am I. Born. And this is how we cook fried corn. Okay. <laughs> Let's finish the block of what I said. Somebody said, "What are you cooking?" Guys, this is a uh, southern fried corn, and you would have to catch the replay on it, the recipe for it. Over here, I have onions and red peppers. Yeah, Somebody said um, cream corn. Yes, southern fried cream corn, because it is creamy, so yeah. <clears throat> But this is being sauteed for the kale. Then I'm going to throw in the pot in a minute. Let me get some black pepper. Here's some Goya seasoning salt. Grab the salt out the cabinet right there. Salt shaker. Right there. Mm -hmm. Hold that. That's fine. I got it. Okay. Is that a That's wild a little salt? No, it's a big pot my mom bought me. Kim said it looks yummy so far. Thank you. So. Just sauteing this down to get all the flavors out of these vegetables. And actually after this, I'm going to take them out and just put the kale in there. Because I don't want my um, peppers to be cooked too much. So, can anyone share what they cook today? That's onions and red peppers. And garlic. And garlic. Let me stir the corn again. 
southern cream corn, southern style fried corn. If you use any kind of skillet besides a non-stick skillet, you will have sticky corn if you leave it unattended for too long. It'll start scalding in the bottom of the pan. So watch it. Okay. Yes. So did anyone share what they cooked today? I know y'all either went to somebody's barbecue or you cooked something. It's onion, red peppers, and garlic. Love fried corn. My grandma used to make it all the time. Add sliced tomatoes on top. Oh yeah. See now you're talking. You're talking my language. I already ate dinner, but now I feel like eating again. LOL. Shouldn't be watching, <laughs> said Kim. I know. It's always like that once you don't eat. Patricia said I didn't cook today. Oh, okay. Well, did you go to someone else's house who did cook? What did you eat today, then? What did you eat? Shirley Ann, what did you cook? She's not on here anymore. Oh, okay. Bob <laughs> said ribs and chicken with coleslaw and spaghetti. Oh, sound good. The light said barbecue, pork, chicken, potato salad, baked beans. Ooh, that sounds good to me. Is the fried corn on high heat? No. Renee. It's like, uh, um, it's on in between six, well, yeah, I guess you would say. Not real, real high, though. Six, it's on six and seven on, between six and seven on my stove. She said her niece but, cooked. Patricia. You know, you know everyone else cooked differently. Who said they niece cooked? Patricia, the one who said um, she didn't cook today. Oh, okay. That's a, that bowl right there, the vegetables go in there. Take them all down? Yeah. Okay, I'm about to. I'm cooking some other things, guys, that I didn't put on my scope. But since we're waiting for that corn to get ready, I guess I will share it with you all. <clears throat> Butter, rice, stew, pork, and um, red Ooh, beans. Says Sister wee, Griffin. That sounds good. Sister Griffin says. <laughs> Butter, rice, stew, corn. What should I stew? What? Stew beef. Yeah. And, oh, that sounds so good. Yes, it is. That's a Sunday meal, too, right there. That sounds good to me. So, I'm making potato salad as well. I need the relish, please. And um, I'm just showing y'all this because I'm doing it anyhow. But let me go over here and put some. I'm going to add some relish up here. This is what I do when I cook, so that's relish. Here's some mustard. I mean, it's a box of salt, please. I and made I a like seafood a... macaroni and cheese, said Robert. Okay. Oh, that seafood macaroni and cheese sounds good. What you put in there, shrimp or lobster or both? Oh, he said seafood. You put shrimp and lobster? What you put? Here's a little salt. Black pepper. Sister Giffen said you taught me to make potato salad. Yes. <laughs> I sure did. <clears throat> and nobody can take it from you now because you know how to do it, right? Here's my boiled eggs. Let me chop them up right quick. She's making um, potato salad currently, yeah. but corn and kale was the main scope. item for the scope. Yes. Stir that corn, baby. I'm just sharing this with you all because this is what I'm cooking too. But while I'm talking, I might as well. The ratio of mayonnaise to mustard has to be right. Who said that? 
I didn't see name. Well, uh, Sister Griffin said, now I'm a pro. I know that's Robert right. says, shrimp blocks for clam scallops topped with toasted breadcrumbs. Robert, I know. Did you scope it, Robert? Did you scope it or you didn't? He probably didn't because today he probably didn't feel like it. But I would have loved to see that scope. Actually, that ratio has got to be whatever you like. If you like it thick, if you like it looser, it's, it's really your preference. But yeah. I agree that it's whatever you like it to be. <laughs> Cause some people like this kind of dry and thick. They say I've never seen anyone cut something in their hand like that. Oh yeah, I'm not pushing down hard on it, but this is old school. This is what my mama used to do. <laughs> Robert said no at a nephew's house in Florida. Oh. Jolene said my mom always did. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean you're not. Pushing, it's a southern thing. You're not trying to press it through your hand. You're just lightly pushing a knife through it and cutting it up. That's all. It's nothing magical about it. You just got to know what you're doing. If you do it long enough, you know what you're doing. I wouldn't advise so no the one. Said, I like mine's kind of dry, but yours look right. I would not um, advise anyone who don't know how to cut correctly or. Haven't been doing this a long time to do what I'm doing. <laughs> Diane <laughs> said hello that. from Arkansas. Hi, Diane. Welcome from Arkansas. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> I need my big metal spoon. <clears throat> Put the lid. Okay, here's my chicken broth. Let me add some chicken broth to my kale over here. Let me stir my corn. Let's take a look at this corn, guys. It's almost there. You see how thick it's getting and all the liquid is almost gone? So that's how you want it. <clears throat> you want it to look like this. Guys, I can't wait to watch the replay for the corn. My mouth is watering. Yes. And it's about ready, too. Because it don't hardly have any liquid in it. Now, this is, I'm pouring some chicken broth into. Diane said, thank you. Um, you would like get, um, shared your scope with me. Love cooking scopes. Thank you. Thank you, Alexis. Fruit of the Spirit says she likes um, hers with eggs. I, I guess she's talking about the potato salad. Yes. So this I just need to put the top on that. On Joe, the Joe, said you have a big kitchen. Uh, not really. Not as big as I would like it to be. <laughs> it's. I think it's a. It's a medium size area. Southern fried corn, not corn fritters. Okay. Diane said it's some good eating. Yeah. So, I need my masher. Give me my masher, please. I'm going to mash a little bit of this. It's kale. Yes, it's kale. And I'm going to let it cook down some. Let it wither up a little. Guys, they're going to have to use frozen corn. Ain't got time to be cutting fresh <laughs> corn off the top. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I understand. <laughs> I'm gonna mash some of these cubes up. I like cubes in it, but I like some of them to be mashed kind of too. Where's your super heart thing? Um, oh, somebody's giving me super hearts and I can't see it. Then there, did you see any super hearts? Um, I don't know what that is, so. I don't, I don't know. know, I might have to update my thing. I, someone said you have to update it. Someone tell me how you update it. What do I have to do? Go out of? Do what? I know someone on here has to know how to update your scope to accept super hearts. Jolene said I can't give it to you, and she said she don't know. Oh, okay.
Thank you. See that? It's whatever you like it, your texture to come out to be like. What ingredients do you use in your potato salad? Mayonnaise, relish, salt, pepper. The radio said you have to agree to the new terms, I guess, to get your um, super heart. Oh. Um. <clears throat> to accept super hearts? Because I know well, I, I thought you have to be like. Oh. She don't have an Apple phone. No, I don't. Okay. Diane said that looks good. Jolene said nice and creamy. Yes, this is how it's supposed to be, honey. <clears throat> I told you I'm a measure. I'm I'm an eyeball cook, honey. I don't really Barnes measure, said, but I'm learning how to measure because I'm writing this book and I had to learn how to measure things. Go into your Google Play and um, upgrade. Okay. Some, she said, yep, there goes the tablespoon mustard. Of sugar. Yeah, that's enough. <clears throat> you can put that back. That's for my coffee anyway. Okay. There you go. She said, gotta have mayo in. Yes. Mayo and mustard. Yes. I need the um paprika so I can top it. I also put the onions in here. You didn't see me do that, but I added it. <clears throat> beforehand to the potatoes. They said that it looks delicious. Thank you. And when you're making this much, you sure going to get an arm workout, that's for sure. <laughs> she said, me too. That's the way my mama always taught me. Eyeball it, lol. Yes. Ever add real bacon bits? Oh, yeah. That's yes. why I can't bake, not a measurer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she added sugar. Well, when I bake, I just use um, measure, too. I measure when I bake most of the time. Unless it's something I've been making a long time that I just know the recipe already. So, But um, I've been starting to me try to measure things lately because I know a lot of people don't know how to eyeball. And I have to do this book, so... Yeah, I said you use a Vidalia onion. I had to learn how to um I think that was a Vidalia onion because um it looked like one and I know what they look like. Here's some paprika on top. Give me a paper towel so I can wipe around the sides, please. Stir it. Stir it. Okay. Turn it down real low now. <clears throat> oh, my okay. mama law put pimentos in hers. Oh, her. yeah. That gives it the red color. Yeah, because you know what? Back in the day, well, I'm going to say back in the day, because back in the day, when you, they used to sell it to you, they used to give you big, um, pickles, you could get just sweet pickles. I don't and it had think big, I blocked you. It had big pieces of, um, um, pimentos in it. And you could just take them out and you can slice them up in your stuff. Now you gotta buy a whole jar of pimentos separately. <clears throat> if you want pimentos in there. And so I'm just using what I had in the house. But yeah, I like pimentos in mine too because I like the color of it. <clears throat> Diane said, are you in the South too? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm in Georgia. <laughs> Barnes said, going to make me get on Amtrak to come to have dinner. I know, right? That's perfect, guys. Okay. I just taste it. It's perfect. Okay, Drea. You blocked somebody? Yeah, but I didn't block her. Oh. Well, you might have blocked her. Did she say you blocked her? No, she said maybe somebody else in the group did. Because they probably were trying to block the other person that kept saying something. Oh, yeah. Well, she was able to come back, though. Yeah, she's oh, back. Oh, great, great. Andrea Davis just joined. No, we don't block people unless they rude. Unless they be disrespectful. Joy, yeah, she's leaving the replay up. The replay will stay up, guys. 
And anyone who came in the room just recently, just came in, I'm Sherry P. And welcome to my kitchen. She said it looks good. That's the fried corn. It's already done. So. Robert said have to go eat now. Talk to you later. All right, Robert. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. I'm turning this down to like one or something just so it can stay warm. Is this Andrea? She said hello. Hi, Andrea. My fried corn is is ready, guys. I turned it all the way down to one and in, in between one and low so it can stay warm. Here's my kale. I'm going to stir it. Joy said, OMG, I already ate and this skull made me hungry again. I know. Well, that's what food does to you. Didn't I tell you it was going to go down, guys? Can I get my apple cider vinegar, please? It's going to go down even more than this. Happy feet, so hey. Happy feet. Hey. Welcome to my skull. That's a big branch right there. Okay, here's some apple cider vinegar, guys. Here. Dre said, yummy, love kale. Cook it down a little bit more. And I'm going to add those vegetables back in there. That's the corn that I made. Diane said, oh, that's going to be so good. Make me hungry for some fried corn. Oh, let me, I forgot, guys, about my ribs. Y'all didn't. Jolene said, you make me want to give up my low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> what you season the kale with? Trey your eggs. Um, those just vegetables. Onions, peppers. I almost forgot about my ribs in here. Where's the foil you cover this? The foil's on the table for the ribs, y'all. Southern fried corn is done, guys. You see me make potato salad. Southern potato salad, which I didn't even put on the scope. But, um, so I hope you learned some things today. We're going to add this. Was that Bragg's or do you recommend any apple cider vinegar? That was Bragg's, actually. And Bragg's is all I use. But I know Hunt's make one as well. Hunt's make one and it has the mother in it as well. So I know those two are good. But I just like Bragg's. Glass top for them. I'm gonna let that kale cook down some more. And um, I need some plastic wrappers for, that for my potato salad. What we having for dessert? Oh, you, I, you know what? I was supposed to have a nice strawberry shortcake today. But my, and I didn't want to bake a cake. <laughs> so, it looks like we're just going to have fruit salad once I put it together. Here is the, um, yeah, it's going to be fruit salad because... My husband didn't bring the pound cake that I like. I asked for a sour cream pound cake and he forgot it. So, it happens. So, we're not going to have that. We're going to have fruit salad. That I have is going to have grapes in it, pineapples, and um, what else I have? Grapes, pineapples, and watermelons, and blueberries on top. And strawberries, yeah. That's what I have. So, that's going to be their dessert. They but, said Bragg's is the best. A lot of people use Bragg's. Bragg's. Yeah, yeah. Bragg's is the best. I think so too. Bragg's has a lot of recipes for tea, which I love their tea. 
Um, they tell you how to make the tea with um, Bragg's vinegar. And um, something else they they make. Uh, something else I make that I put Bragg's in. But it's, it, it is the best to me. It's your preference, but you know. It's, it's whatever you like. So take another look at this potato salad, guys. Project Queen said, hey, Sherry. That's, um... Hey, Project Queen. Oh, that's, um... Oh, um, my sister from my church, Magdalene. Hi, yes. baby. <laughs> she said she's coming over for dinner. Uh, hey, you know you're welcome anytime. We need to get together anyway. It's been a while. It's been a long while. But good. Uh, thanks for coming on my scope. I appreciate it. Um, want to look at, look at her, look at the, um, she just came on, let her see the fried corn I just made. Southern fried corn I she just She said, made. I didn't know you were on Periscope. Oh, yeah. It's been a while now, I think over, uh, it's been what, two months maybe almost, going on two months or maybe longer. This is my kale that I made. And I'm about to add the vegetables that I sautéed in this plant. She's working on her cookbook. Oh yeah, I'm working. I'm trying to get it out, guys. I pray for me that I get it out before um, Christmas. I want to have it done by, I mean, out before um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm working yes. on that. The chicken broth. She so said, this, yes, I know, must do. I'm following you then. Oh, yeah, please do. Ask her, do she be scoping? Well, follow her back. Is she, do she be scoping? <clears throat> follow her back, so I'm um, doing Okay. I just add some more um, chicken broth, guys, to the pot. And this was the seasoning salt I put in here, which I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add a little complete seasoning as well to this. And some garlic powder. <laughs> garlic powder, guys. Even though I put garlic in there, I like that flavor. Okay. I might as well add the rest of that. It sounds like you think I should block the strange language. Oh yeah. Project Queen said I'm getting ready to start um to restart scoping. Oh okay. Well good. Well I'm following you anyway, so when you do I'll I'll get it. But this is kale guys. And I have onions and red peppers in here and garlic. And so I just seasoned it well. And it's going to be great. Um, I need to add a pinch. She cooked kale and corn. <clears throat> well, I cook more than that, but <laughs> that's what I'm scoping. So, did they, they see the corn? Who just showed them the corn, whoever just asked. How about cayenne? Now I'm going to put some pepper flakes in there though. Oh, uh, she said, because they said block the strange language, but um, Miss Harvey, I believe her last name, she mm -hmm. said that most people block them, but they just want to learn. Oh, and that's the language they speak, right? Yeah. I never knew how to cook kale, thanks, said Joey. Oh, you're welcome. Project Queen said, wow, that looks healthy and good. And Jesse said, I've never seen kale look so good. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad I taught someone something today. That's my whole goal. To um, They said that kale really looks good, Sharon said. Teach other, one, other people who don't know how to do it, you know how to do it, if you don't know. And here's the potato, potato salad I made. For whomever didn't get catch that. Um, you're going to have to catch the replay for my ingredients that I put in the humidifier, for you, babe. This is the potato salad I just made. Um, I have some ribs in the oven I made as well. 
But I just wanted to show how to make that southern corn because a lot of people don't know how to make southern fried corn. And I know that because people ask me that all the time. So I wanted to do it for you guys. And guys, I'm going to let you go because that is really my meal for the day. Um, Gerald said, where's your accent from? Um, I didn't know I have an accent. Oh, I'm from New Jersey. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I was um, born in Alabama, but I was raised in New Jersey. You know, I came to New Jersey when I was six months, so I guess I have a Jersey accent. <clears throat> um, but yeah, this is the uh, potato salad, so I'm gonna cover that up. She said, "Well, um, Project can say while you're doing it." Thank you, honey. Thank you. Um, I just try to cook things that a lot of people don't she make. Said, "Everyone have a blessed night." All right. And so I'm going to let you take one more look at this corn and kale. We're going to end the scope with look that look. Let's see this corn over here. And let me stir it up for y'all so y'all can get in there good and see it. How luscious it is. Look at that. Look how luscious that is. Okay. It's creamy. This is called southern fried corn. And this is my kale. Let me get my glove. This is my kale. Somebody just came in and said hello. Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome See, they're to not learning their spinning. Yeah. So, this Dre is it. said good night and thank you. You're welcome, Drea. And good night. Until next time, enjoy the, your 4th of July. I'll see you next time on my next scope.